Welcome back everyone to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to implement and use the door system with my inventory system so that we could have like an item that is an actual key for the doors. So what I've done is simple, simply migrated the, all of the things from the first person template that I was using for the series to my inventory systems uh, template. So as of right now uh, we have a bunch of errors by default. I have the meshes, those are working just fine, but the issue is in the door master itself. So now let's pop that open and let's see what's inside of it. If we compile this, we get a bunch of issues. So first we click on this player guy. It's in the lock door. The player reference is not working properly because we are using the first person character. Instead, we want to cast to our third person character that we are using in this template. So I'm going to do that like so. Remove this node, connect this one and then we have the keys which we don't have so we're gonna fix that in a second so let's actually delete that there we go so the issues are gone on this one let's see the cabinet is working now that's great so we have our cabinet I'm gonna move these things into the world this one is a bad actor as well let's see if we compile this this gives us an error with the cast node of course obviously so again we can then cast to our third person character instead because we want our third person character to overlap. So let's remove that and let's replace this one as well. We connect the executions. Here we go. Here we go. Remove that. Compile. Boom. All good. So we have doors and we have cabinets in the world. Now let's make sure that we actually lock these doors. So let's select this actor and in the details panel we can set is locked. Here we go. By default, it is asking us for a key, which is an integer. Well, we are not going to use any integers. So let's open up our S door structure. And inside of here, instead of using the integer as a key, we want to use our S slots structure type. Here we go. Let's save that. Let's open up our items database and let's add an item for that. So items database, I'm just going to duplicate duplicate the empty item let's call this key um, then the name name is going to be the key so let's call this use to unlock door basically any item can be used for this one you don't necessarily need to call this key it can be whatever item basically so we have the type I'm just gonna type key even though it doesn't matter I'm gonna leave it be a cube we can't stack it, can't craft it. I think all the rest of the stuff is unimportant. As long as we can just simply pick it up, it's all good. So let's see, we have our pickup master over here. Let's change the item to be our key. So we have the key, there we go, we got that. And now we gotta make sure that we can actually use this key whenever we want to open up the doors. So um, we actually don't even have the system for that one as well. Uh, so that gave us another error. The key is giving us the errors as well. Need to reconnect the key now. In the lock door, we need to reconnect the key. So if we compile this, this goes away. Now let's see. So first we need a some kind of a mechanism that is going to check whether we have the key because right now we are using this one, but we don't really we don't really want to use this one. So we're going to just simply delete all of this. We have our local found, which is no longer going to be needed. We can remove that one as well. And so from the third person character, we can find, let's call this find stack, uh, because we want to find a specific item and the find stack function is going to return us that specific item. The item is the key item. There we go. We have the key item. Then that one can be, the success can be our new if branch condition. We can connect the execution and this should be good. There we go. Now the last thing left for us to do would be to actually set up so that we can interact with the doors because we can't really do that. And in the doors, again, we have an issue with the key. So you might have quite a few locations with these issues now because we have changed the structure. So make sure you disconnect the broken pin, reconnect the existing one like I'm doing right here. Simply reconnect those, compile, the errors go away. You can click on the next one. So it has the key. Uh, so we're going to remove that one and we can just simply replace the key 
with the s slots type variable so from integer to s slots type as soon as we do that we can replug that into our key uh, still we're going to make sure that it is instance editable exposed on spawn there we go so we got that now let's see probably we are going to have some more issues in our cabinet now so we compile this now this is all good so the key is this is all good the cabinet is all good only the doors themselves gave us issues so now let's see uh, let's go to our character now and let's set up so that we can actually interact with these actors so I have the event graph I have the keyboard e key event interaction so on the e key event let's get from the hit actor let's get does implement an interface the interface that is needed is our door interface then we can do an if branch check from this one and then connect the execution from the previous false one because i have like a huge chain over here to pick up start interaction server spawn loot um, and also i will have the doors now one more thing that we will need is another actual has tag so i'm going to add that one as well and this one needs to have a tag of keypad so i'm going to call this keypad add another if branch over here there we go uh, so the false and the condition now for the doors themselves we again need the two custom events that we created in the previous video so let's add a custom event called the server open door which is then run on server and then we also need another custom event which is multi open door and then this one is multicasted then we can run our open something message let's connect our target and component so we got those rename the target to actor so we don't get confused compile and then we can multi open door let's connect our actor and the component compile we are all good with this one so we have the server events that were needed to uh, to basically do this action open the doors across the network and now from the first one does implement the door interface on true we can server open door now let's connect our actor to the hit actor and we also need to grab the hit component as well so we got both of those and now from the keypad itself what we want to do is we want to create a widget I have a specific function for that so I'm gonna use that one so create the widget there we go we have create a widget and the widget is our keypad widget like so okay so we got that now let's see did I actually add a tag for the keypad itself I don't remember so I'm just gonna double check this tag so yeah I have a keypad tag so technically we should be good with this let's see let's add a keypad on this one here we go we have a keypad let's let's just duplicate the doors just for the safety so this one is locked and it needs a key and the key is going to be the key item so we got to make sure we select that one the amount doesn't matter uh, we just simply need to provide it an item now this door right here is not gonna be locked it's not gonna have any key so if we don't lock this the key doesn't matter uh, what does matter is that in this case we need a code so I'm just gonna select this select the door index left at zero select the door back and let's type in the code so one two three four five should be a good code so that should be good for now I'm just gonna remove the code from this one from the shelves themselves so that I can interact with those but the principle is the same you already seen it in the previous videos you can expose these variables on spawn as well to provide multiple values uh, the same way we do for the rest of these actors so as of right now we can't really hit the enter key on our keypad because in our UI keypad we are failing the cast because we never provide the actor so what we can do is go to our third person character and down here where we are creating the widget before we create the widget we can set our set up our interactable so let's set up our interactable to be the hit actor like so so now we have the uh, the reference to the hit actor uh, so that's our keypad now we can go to our ui keypad and before we cast to the keypad actor we can just simply cast to our character so third person character then i want to get owning 
player pawn and then from our third person character we can get the interactable so let's get our interactable variable and connect that over here so now this is all good and we no longer actually need this actor reference in general so now this should be good now we should be able to interact with the keypad so one two three four five enter there we go so the doors are getting open and this is working just fine now the next issue is we can't unlock this door even if we have the key because we don't really have the necessary functionality for that so in the previous project i used shift and i believe i have something different on this one i have a control key for the item movement so here it is on the control is moving many uh, and true and false so i'm going to use the same key i'm going to use control so on true it's good on false it's it's not good so on the open doors what we can do is again make this just a tad bit bigger so we got more space i'm going to move this down for now and so before we actually run this thing we need to do another if because we want to check whether it's moving many so we do that and now in this case we know so if this is false we can just simply server open the door if it's true then we can run our lock door we have our lock door message like so and now we need to provide basically the same information uh, as we did for the server open door so i'm just gonna create a small reroute over here for the target small reroute over here for the component and for the player i'm just gonna do self-reference like so so now we can compile and save this so uh i believe we are done with this so let's pick up a key we can't open the door but if we control e and then e once more we can open the doors let's close those control e and the doors are locked so that's going to be it for this video uh, the drawers are getting open the doors are getting open everything seems to be functioning just fine uh, we can use the keypad we can use the keys you can basically use any item you want so for example if we would change this key item from the key to let's say we want to use a medical box now if we press play pick up a medical box we can again unlock these doors without any issues the only thing that does matter is that well this item right here that we set in this information and as long as we have that item the doors are getting unlocked so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and i see you in the next one